finally, for demonstration purposes only, as no one in the Music Ednet house band can sing very well, I'll set the input level for our microphone, which has been connected via an XLR cable. The microphone is connected to the C section. The three pin XLR mic inputs are a little different to the other inputs in that they each have a special dedicated gain knob for setting what's known as the preamp gain. Microphones output a very weak signal, so a preamp is necessary to bring that signal up to a usable level in a mixer. I'll adjust this until I see the light for channel C in the main mix horizontal knob row reach about two thirds of the way around as I speak strongly into the microphone. Testing one two, testing one two, testing one two, testing one two, testing one two. Like the guitar and bass options, the channel set to mic also gives access to some mic friendly effects. I'll hold the C section's input button in and choose number five, called compressor plus short delay in the HS5 reference list you can see on screen. I'll now release the C section's input button and accept the defaults for the effect I've chosen and press the input button once more to leave amp effect edit mode for the last time. 